Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, recognizing um, the roles that you're playing uh, in this life so that it, it becomes an avenue for you to be able to change you know those things that you don't prefer. Um, you know, one, one of the biggest things that you could uh, uh, the most enlightening thing that I would say that you could recognize uh, is that all roles that you play in this life are valid. They're, they're valid ways of looking at, at, at uh, the same scenario just from a different point of view. And when you really recognize this, you can be able to evaluate these situations in your life that are not serving you. And the only reason that they are not serving you is because of the particular way that you have decided to view it. The particular role that you are playing that won't allow you to perceive this situation in a positive way. And actually not even recognize that there is another choice. And this kind of came to me, uh, again, a lot of times I, I, some of the subjects that I talk about on these videos, they, they come to me from work where I just talk to people and then I recognize, I, it's, it's so interesting to me when I talk to people how I recognize where they're stuck at. And sometimes I even tell them where they're, they are the solution to it. and. <laughs> A lot of times I'll get some laughter and stuff because they, I, I, I think they just don't even, it's, it may be so far beyond them that they just are not understanding that it's as simple as what I'm stating it, that it is. And the particular example I'm going to give is, you know, this happened at work where uh, my coworker had been talking about um, that uh, she would prefer to sleep longer. Uh, her, her big thing was, you know, she slept a certain amount of period of time and then her, her children would wake her up at about 6 o'clock in the morning. She wished she could sleep much longer and, you know, uh, you know, if she doesn't sleep long enough, you know, she'll, she'll get grumpy and uh, all these things that she had, was talking about. And what I had suggested was that maybe she could just change her thought instead of saying that maybe I should sleep longer to, you know, I slept as long as I needed to. And it's, it seems simple, but it's, it's, it really is as simple as that. Perhaps there may be another reason why, but perhaps the reason why you feel grumpy in the morning is because you're holding on to the thought that I didn't sleep long enough. And when you wake up, there's a certain amount of disorientation that's to be expected just because you're going from one state to another state, a state of un, you know, relative unconsciousness and also your body has been staying in one position for a long period of time. So it, it's a certain momentum going on in that direction. And, and so then to get up, there's a certain amount of that. But you don't have to label it in a negative way. When you label it, it I should be in this state longer, then of course there's going to be resistance to getting up. This can translate as a, you know, a negative emotion, a negative emotion of anger you know, or frustration or something. Why don't you leave me alone? I need to sleep longer. If you drop that thought, if you're not a person that has that thought, and you're a person that has the thought, how whatever time I wake up is the time that, you know, I, I slept these perfect amount of time for me, or, or I slept long enough. Whatever time anybody wakes me up, that's the amount of time that I needed to sleep, and I accept that. If you have that, then there's no reason to be grumpy when you get up in the morning because you recognize that 
you slept, you know, as the um, perfect amount for yourself. And so you don't even have the uh, have that thought. And so there's no need to be grumpy because why should you be grumpy? You've slept long enough. And so, so that's just two different ways of viewing the same situation. And one causes you a certain amount of suffering, again, emotional suffering in this life, and one doesn't. And when you recognize that you have a free will choice to decide what meaning you're going to put into the situation, then you can recognize that why should I choose to keep a thought that is going to give me suffering? And it will be like putting your hand on a, on a stove and, and then complaining later on. It's like, man, I got these blisters on my fingers. I don't know why I keep getting these blisters on my fingers. It's ridiculous. And then somebody says, I would stop putting my hand on the stove and you go that's ridiculous what's up with that you know everybody puts their hand on the stove you know if you recognize there's another choice there you know then you won't do that you won't have that thought that causes you that amount of suffering and then your life will be so much easier there's another example from a uh, again a, another co-worker that she's going through a, a, I would say a much more difficult situation but again it comes down to the same thing as far as allowing yourself to open up to the possibility that however you're viewing this situation may be adding a certain amount of suffering into it and there may be another way of looking at it that will take the emotional aspect of it out. And um, in her situation, uh, she's dealing with her, her father at, um, and he's, he has Alzheimer's. And so a person with Alzheimer's, you know, they, they have certain amount of characteristics about them. And of course, they, a lot of sometimes they will forget family members. Uh, sometimes they act out in aggressive, aggressive fashions. There, there are certain things that are there with that particular um, disease. Um, so that carries a certain amount of uh, what I would say suffering into it anyway, where you just don't know what to expect with this person. That you really can't do much about. You know, that is really left up to the disease and the process that uh, there has to be an acceptance of that okay this person is going through that and I need to be aware that this person it, it you know is is suffering from it and, and I don't know what I'm really going to get into today you know um, but that's not really the part that I would say that this particular person is suffering with what what this particular person is suffering with is the thought that even though she it's unconscious and again she's playing the role but the thought that her father should not be going through this you know her father should remember you know you know he doesn't remember my you know my mother you know and he should you know again these this this is implied in the conversation you know and he should he should remember and again you have to evaluate the underlying thought pattern behind all the drama of the conversation that is spewing out of the conversation that's the underlying thought pattern he should remember and you have to evaluate that he has Alzheimer's should he remember no, he shouldn't remember. He has Alzheimer's, and, and and so the you have to turn it around and say, should I insist he remember? And you shouldn't. You know why? Why would you? You wouldn't insist somebody that is sick that they should get up out of bed and you know go 
run a marathon when they have uh, 102 fever, that would be ridiculous. And it, it's the same thing, you know, when you were insisting that someone with Alzheimer's should remember. That causes suffering. That causes a lot of grief that is unnecessary when you can just uh, recognize that this, what this person is going through and accept it and accept it and say, okay, this person should not remember. They are actually doing the exact thing that they should be doing. And then you, you can actually be more loving to them because you can actually love them unconditionally in that, that, that state. That thought pattern could, could love unconditionally because what it would do, uh, somebody that didn't have that thought, he should remember. Somebody that doesn't have that thought and says, maybe he won't remember. You know, I don't know if he'll remember. Somebody that has that thought can be more open to be whoever, whoever her father decides that she will be in that situation. Whether she is a stranger, whether he recognizes her as someone else, whether he doesn't recognize her at all, uh, whether he, he wants her to go away, whether he he does recognize her as a daughter, whatever he he accepts her as, she would be the loving person that would accept whatever her father wishes at that moment. And that could be the most loving and most open thing that you would have ever done for your 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 father, for your parent by being open to whatever that they needed at that time. Perhaps they didn't need you at that time. If they are being aggressive, they don't want you there. It may be a you know, time that you don't need to be there. It's, it is really a situational thing and you can't really hypothesize about a, you know, a particular situation, but you wouldn't be able to really recognize that or make a logical choice if you have that other thought that he should remember because then you're going to carry that into that conversation it's like don't you remember me you know and you wouldn't be able to look at it in a neutral way uh, to really be able to judge it and 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 see what you what role you need to play at that point so those are just examples of things that you could do to well, the big thing is really is to recognize that whatever role that we play in this life, there's another way to play it. And so there is no real right or wrong per se. There's uh, uh, probably an infinite amount of choices that somebody could make in any situation or different ways that you could look at a situation or, or, or way to view it. So all choices are valid, but the thing that you have to recognize is what way is most useful for me? What way gives me the most amount of peace and joy and happiness? Because I don't prefer to live my life in a state of negativity and, and tension and frustration, anger, depression. All those things are things that I don't prefer to put into a situation. Thank you everyone for watching and take care.